Hi and welcome back to One Pot Dish. Today we're going to be making a jackfruit beef stew. We're going to start off by peeling some turmeric and our ginger. Now we find the easiest way to peel is actually not with a knife but as you can see here with a spoon. It really makes it a lot more economical, you don't waste so much and of course it's much much safer. Now we were lucky enough to have a fresh turmeric leaf which Rosie is folding into a knot or putting into a knot here and if you don't have that just use powder that's fine. Now we're going to dice the beef so essentially we're getting all of our ingredients prepared before we start to make our paste. Okay let's prepare our jackfruit. We're spraying the knife here because jackfruit is very very sticky and by putting a little bit of cooking oil sprayed onto the knife much much easier to clean after we've finished cutting. Start by cutting the top and then also cutting the bottom off the jackfruit as you can see here we've already done it. Then you can start to slowly peel down the, the sides of the jackfruit until you have it all exposed. The next thing you're going to do is then cut it into, into quarters uh, so that it makes it easier to take care of the inner core which can be quite tough. So you'll see very shortly we'll be cutting out the inner core as you can see here just to make the jackfruit a little bit easier to eat. Now we want to cut up our gully angle just so that we get the woody texture taken care of but can still benefit all the taste. Take your lemongrass, chop it up and give it a good bang, preparing it to release the flavour by releasing all the oils. Again, take the chilies now, slice them carefully not to touch yourself and then just de-seed them with a spoon. It takes out the heat but you still get all the lovely flavour of the chilies. We're ready to make our paste. Add a little bit of water, put on the lid and you're going to start blitzing. It's going to take about three to five minutes to really get the paste to a nice consistency so that it cooks out really really well. Stop once or twice, use a spatula just to scrape down the edges of the bowl and make sure that everything is mixed nicely. Next, once you've done that, get the instant pot up the heat and put in the paste and start the cooking process. Make sure you get it all in, let it get sizzling, and then give it a nice stir around. Next, put in the lemongrass, again stir, and you'll start to get all the flavors coming through. It takes probably three to four minutes to do this cooking, and you can kind of tell when it's ready because you get a change in fragrance. Once you get that change in fragrance, add in your beef, stir well so that it's mixed all around, and finally put in the jackfruit. And again, do the same thing, stir it around so that all the paste is covered. Okay, we're nearly there. The next step, put in the kaffir lime leaves, the bay leaf and the knotted turmeric. And the next thing we're going to be doing is putting in the beef stock. And finally, we'll be putting on the lid and cooking for approximately 25 minutes with 10 minutes of natural release. Boy, this is starting to smell good. Okay, now we're cooked and I'm getting excited. Test the meat for tenderness, add in the final piece of coconut cream, again give it a nice little stir around. After this you do want to cook it out so the coconut cream becomes cooked and then you're ready to start seasoning. Add some salt, add some pepper, add a little bit of sugar and don't forget to taste. If you need to add some more then that's fine. Now we're just about ready to eat. Bon appetit and thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.